A lot of people ask me, what is the best way to keep your server from getting raided and also from getting new? If you don't know what those two terms are, a server raid is basically where, where someone sends a bunch of fake bot accounts into your server and you have hundreds of them joining, maybe sometimes even thousands of these fake bot accounts joining all at once. And then a server nuke is where someone is able to, they probably have the wrong permissions in the server and they're able to add a bot into the server and that bot is able to, they can run a command and they're able to delete every single channel and some sometimes every single role in the server. Now, when it comes to server raids, Discord thankfully has some pretty good um, security measures built directly into Discord now for that. I will link a short video to this where I talk about some of these um, raid protection measures that Discord has added into the platform. But in this video, I wanna focus on nukes. We're gonna be looking at a bot called Golden Bot. And the, purpose, the main purpose of this bot, while they do offer a lot of other features, the main purpose is to restore your server from a nuke. So say someone joined your server, deleted every single channel, every single role, this bot will give you the ability to restore all of that in all of those channels and roles, even if you don't have the bot in your server. That's what makes this bot stand out a lot more from other nuke protection bots is the other, a lot of the other ones, you have to have a backup already made of your server and then you just restore that backup through the bot. With Golden Bot, you can actually add the, if your server gets nuked right now or if it just got nuked and you're watching this video, you can add this bot in after after the nuke happened and it can still be able to restore all that information. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're going to do a, a nuke on a test server that I have. Um, this bot, the, the bot that I'm going to use to nuke this, it's not gonna be accessible to anyone. As soon as I'm done recording this video, that bot is going to be deleted and taken down. So no one's gonna be able to add that in from this video and then use it for malicious purposes and other servers. Um, and then after we nuke the server, we're going to use Golden Bot to restore everything. So you guys can kind of see the whole process of a server getting nuked and then being able to restore it as well. Before we dive into it though, I wanna give a quick plug to myself. If you guys uh, are looking for any help with Discord, whether it be having a server created, having an existing server edited, or just have need of um, some small help with Discord, I do have my own Fiverr store set up where I've helped over hundreds of different people People set up entire discord servers so if you guys are interested in that i will have a link at the top of the description you guys can head over there and get in contact with me okay so now jumping into discord what we're going to do is we're going to do a nuke on the server in live time um i have a experimental bot here and like i said at the beginning of the video this bot is going to be deleted right after this video so no one's going to be able to use it for malicious purposes or anything we're going to nuke the server and then we're going to bring it back with golden bot so you'll see a full demonstration of how this works so what we're going to do is we're going to run the command to nuke the server we're going to do it and it's going to create a bunch of channels and it's going to send a bunch of messages in all those channels so we're going to do it right now by pressing enter and you can see it is already happening um, this message is going to be sent 10 times into each channel that it's creating over here on the fly. Um, and I, I don't know how many channels it's going to create. I think it's close to maybe a hundred. Um, so I'm going to let this run. You guys get the idea. Um, if your server was ever to get nuked, this is what would happen. Everything would get deleted, all of your channels and everything. And like I said, some bots can even go in and delete your roles as well, depending on how the bot is set up. Um, but this is what would happen. Everything would get deleted. You would have a bunch of channels get created um, and you could have messages that get constantly sent into all of those channels. Okay, so now the bot is done. It's went through, it's nuked the server. Everything's been deleted. It's sent this message into all these crazy channels that it made. The server is donezo. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to use Golden Bot and we're gonna bring the server back to what we had. So what we're gonna do is we are going to run the command to denukeify the server. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to purge all the channels. So that basically means we're going to delete every single channel that the uh, nuke bot created. So we're gonna run this command and it's going to ask us to confirm it. We're gonna confirm it. And this is going to delete everything in the server. So everything is completely gone. Okay, so now we are left with only one channel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring everything back. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to enable developer mode if you don't already have that. So we're gonna come into our user settings um, at the very, towards the bottom, you have the advanced tab. If you click on that, you can turn on the developer mode. The reason we need this is we're going to have to copy the user ID of the user that deleted all of those channels. So in this case, it'll be the bot. So the way we'll get this is we will come into our audit log. Um, so we'll come out of our user settings. We'll go into the server settings and you should have an audit log right here and you'll see that um the user if you scroll down this is the golden bot removing all the channels but now you'll see this bot this is where it created all of these crazy text channels 
the way to get the username if the bot is not still in your server over here on the right is you'll go to the audit log find where it was doing all that you'll right click on it and then you can copy as long as you have developer mode on you can copy the user ID. You're gonna to wanna to do that because you're gonna need that in this next step. And this bot seems to still be um, sending some things. So we're just gonna go ahead and kick it out of the server and get rid of it. Um, and we're gonna delete this channel and have a clean channel to work in. So we already ran the command to purge all channels. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna restore all the channels that we previously had. So this is where when you enter that command, this is why you need that user ID. We're going to paste the user ID that we got from the audit log and then limit is how many of channels, how many channels you want to bring back. So the max number of channels. Um, we're just gonna do 100 to be on the safe side. I didn't have that many, but we're just gonna put that in for the example purpose. We'll press enter, it's gonna run the command. It's gonna ask you to confirm it. We're gonna confirm and that's gonna bring back every channel that we had before. So you guys could go back in the video if you want to compare if we have all the channels and we should have all the same channels that we had before. Now, one thing to note, and you can probably tell, it didn't really put them into categories. It just created all the channels again and that's it. And there's also not going to be any message data in these channels. The spot really isn't supposed to save. Um, it's not a true backup of the server. So you're not gonna be able to save all of the messages that were inside the channels that were deleted. Um, all it's going to do is bring back all the channels as well as bring back all the roles if the nuke bot was able to delete the roles in your server. And that may seem like a not ideal situation to not bring back the message data. However, the whole, the big key point of this bot compared to other ones is you can add it after your server has been nuked. You don't already need a server backup. You don't need any of that. Your server gets nuked. You're like, what do I do? I'm screwed. You can add this bot and it can at least bring back all the channels, the roles and the setup that you had and then you can rebuild off of that. So once you get everything back, all you have to do is drag everything back to where you had it. Um, so we can just simply drag all our channels back in here to make it look just like we had it before. And if we delete this channel at the top, then just like that, we have our server just like we had it before. Now there's a lot more you can do with this bot. Like they have their own embed builder, which is a really cool feature. I haven't really seen in other bots. Um, they have a ticketing system that's really cool. Um, so if you guys are interested, I can cover those on another video. But for this video, I kind of wanted to focus on just one topic, which is saving your server if it was nuked. So that's an overview of Golden Bot and how to save your server if it was nuked. I think it's a really cool bot and the fact that you can add it in after your server was already nuked, bot doesn't have to be in there beforehand, I think is a really cool feature because let's be honest, a lot of us don't have something like this or server backups already set up in place. So if your server was to get nuked, if you don't have a backup, there's nowhere you can go, but now you have somewhere you can go. So if you guys are interested in adding this bot to your server and even checking out some of the other features that they offer, I will have the link down in the description below. I do wanna give a shout out to Golden Dev, the developer of this bot for providing me that nuke bot so I could really give you guys a good example of how everything works. Um, so a big shout out to him. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.